Hey guys, Lucky here. Today, we're doing a keyboard unboxing. <laughs> no, I don't collect keyboards. I know very little about this keyboard. I know a little, very little about keyboards, but Echo, the company here, is collaborating with Gudetama. Yeah, I saw it. My friend tagged me in it, and I'm like, me? So uh, I decided to get it. This one had Gudetama and RGB, so I was like, Okay, 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 okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. It was worth. It was worth the money. I'll give you guys a link below so you guys can check it out. Yeah. I decided to put on my little Gudetama hat for the cute occasion, and I just realized how much my head looked like an egg without any hair. By the way, if you don't know, I am a huge fan of Gudetama. I uh, I brought this guy. The pits got me. I've got a many of Gudetama in there that I don't need to show off. But yeah, if you know me, you know I like Gudetama. So I was really excited for this collaboration. Collab. Eh. I was really excited for this collaboration. And yeah, let's get right to it. I don't really know how to unbox a keyboard, but here we go. I've heard good things about Akko. Akko? I'm assuming Akko. But I, yeah, I've never purchased from them before. I don't think I would have otherwise besides for Gudetama. I've seen some of the keyboards and they look really pretty. They also apparently sell on Amazon as well, which is kind of nice. Yeah, mainly I just wanted this for the Gudetama. I actually don't look at keyboards at all. <laughs> it's big. I forgot it's a full keyboard. But, oh, I'm gonna keep the packaging. But, this is, like, I was watching some keyboards in, like, preparation, like, I don't know, unboxings, and I, they, like, they're talking very in-depth about a lot of things, and I'm just like, I don't know the name of this keyboard, which I should probably mention, but this is the 5108S. Yeah, Akko collaborated with Gudetama, which is really cool. And these are the, I think it said what thing of a bobbers it is but it's a crystal if you have any like questions I would just suggest going to the link below so you can have you can see the specs because I I can't I can't accurately talk about the specs I you know nothing it's actually really nice I'm glad they packaged it well because there's no like creases and stuff but that is the logo very sleek it's, it's hefty and it's protected which is the best because you don't want to yeet your keyboard you know just as someone who doesn't know anything about this right off the bat very nice packaging Ooh. This little bit. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, spicy. Spicy. <laughs> There's a little plastic covering, which is good protection. Very cool. You eat that off very gently. It looks like this. Has the logo again. Well, I got her out. <laughs> I don't know about. I, I'll listen to like some keyboard ASMR, but that's even very rare. But oh, oh, she a hefty baby. It's missing a key. I think I have to change that. Okay. Okay, found the missing key. Out. Yes. Oh. Uh. Wait. I like this sound. I have a very so uh, for reference in terms. I have a Steel Series keyboard. I I don't know which one. <laughs> But it's an RGB Steel Series, and it doesn't sound like this. But just to like taking a look at the, all like the little keycaps, so it is a full keyboard with the numpad. Because some people don't like numpads, and I actually really like numpads. But you can see all like the designs. So there's a design on the keyboard itself, and then you have the little Gudetamas everywhere, guys, everywhere. Look how cute they are. It doesn't feel like a cheap, cause like you know nowadays you can buy like really cheap like RGB like gamer keyboards on at like Daiso and like Miniso and stuff like that. But like this feels like a hefty nice keyboard, which is very, you know, there's weight to it, which is good. On the back it has, I think it's Type C. I think it's what the spec said too, right there. You plug it in, and then on the back it says Akko, and then Gudetama, and then. Made China, that kind of stuff. And then the four, uh, 5108, I think that's a model. Then quickly going to the back, they have a little standee. So you have two options, which is really cool. So you, oh, actually, technically three, I guess. You could have a flat if you want to, just straight, like, you know. Or you could do the big one, like that, on both. Like so. 
Or you could do, I'm gonna put those down. Also, they're nice, because like I hear the click. It's very like, it's locked. It doesn't, it's not very flim, it's not flimsy, you know? And then there's this little baby guy, if you want a little closer. Maybe different like wrist support and that kind of thing. So that's kind of nice that they give you options because sometimes like my keyboard that I currently have the Steel Series, there's only one option. So this is nice that they give you multiple options. Very cool. And I also like little stoppers to keep it from like slipping. Also the text, like the font, I guess, is just it looks rounder and looks cuter. If you look really up close, you can see it like slightly curved. I would call it like bubbly. I don't know how else to describe it, but I would just say it's like bubbly. Also! Fun little Easter egg snippet thing. I'll Easter egg. Because <laughs> that was an excellent joke. <laughs> Anyways, so a little Easter egg, if you will. The O on the keyboard is an actually it's actually good atama. So that's really cute. I love that they added that to this because you know I've seen keyboards where it's just a very basic like you know color and then a couple like you know that's just like the extra keycaps or whatever like the the arrows or whatever or the space bar will have a different you know the little figure or art but I like that they added that little touch that's cute that's very cute the art looks really good on all of them so like there's no smearing it doesn't look it doesn't look cheap I'm just gonna reinstate that it doesn't look cheap also it wasn't really cheap um but it doesn't I'm glad it doesn't look cheap so the total cost is $109.99 so yeah it's a little more up there also I can't really show off the RGB I might later I might insert a clip later I'll probably do that but so then you can actually see how it looks in like the lighting situations and they use Aqua Crystal, I think that's what the little switches are. And currently there's only 57 left in stock. I'm not entirely sure if it's a limited edition thing or not. I can check on Twitter on their you know, actual page and whatever. But I just wanted to show you the last bit because they are actually just, there should be more little goodies into this little guy. So one, user manual. Good, important, in case I guess you have any questions about anything. The last bitty, itty bitties are in this. This is right on top of the keyboard. I'm just gonna open it because I think it also includes more stuff. Yes, it does. Aha, there it is. Can't plug it in without the plugger. Blah, blah, blah. Yellow, like Gudetama, so it matches the keyboard, obviously. They also have two little tools that it came with. Very nice. I think this is to take off the key caps so you don't just like shred it with your fingers and like ruin it. And I think this one's to take off the switches, I think. It's, it's a lot sturdier and harder, so I'm assuming it's to grab the switches and go whoosh. And then, last but not least, they have extra keycaps, like so. Can't read them. I know they have numbers on it. I think it goes one to like, I don't know. I think it says six. Uh, I think those are the function keys. Are these the function keys? Well, I will um, stare at the kanji later and read it in Chinese or something, and I'll figure it out. I'm looking at this, and the only other place that I'm looking at white would be the numpad, right? But there's nine. But there's. So yeah, uh, overall. Ugh, just going over everything. The packaging was nice, so it didn't didn't just come in like a crappy box. It came in a nice little collaboration. I'm gonna keep this for sure. And then the keyboard itself is really nice. I like that you can change the switches because a lot of people want you know they might not like this sound. I do actually. I prefer this over the loud clicky clacky tactile. I don't know. But my my Steel Series is super loud, and sometimes. I complain myself. I'm like, whoa, that's really loud. So this is nice. You know, a little a little touch of color to my setup because I have nothing else besides the little Gudetama figures all over. It's all black, guys. <laughs> I'm like, everything's black. But I will insert this little snippet of the RGB in action so you can see what it looks like plugged in because obviously I have nothing to plug it in here. So as you can see, RGB and it's all its glory. So there is a manual you can download on the actual website where you can like change up the RGB settings so you can you know make it move or whatever. So yeah, that's really cool. Looks really good. Very bright, very vibrant. Doesn't take away from it though, so I love it. But very happy with how clean everything looks. There's no, I did not see any like smudging or grossness. Like it looks clean. The back's nice. I like that you can just insert it there, and then you just plug it in, and that's just, it's, it's pretty dummy friendly, which is very convenient. I thought I had to insert all the keycaps. Yeah, I don't know. 
if you want to check out my other videos, I do mostly cosplay stuff, you know, unboxings, try-ons, that kind of thing, vlogs. So yeah, if you like this type of content, if you like me, which I hope, I would hope to see you again soon, okay? Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the comments whether or not you would get this. And yeah, okay. Bye guys, thanks. Thank you.